girl, this is a mess. I guess space to see maybe will the space bring us back together or do I need this space because I just need to rip off that band-aid. So, and initially I wanted the space or the break to rip that brand that band-aid off. So, but no, like no ill will, nothing bad. Just sometimes people don't work out. People grow apart. Like this isn't working. It happens, you know? Right, it just didn't work out. <laughs> um, I guess space to see. and I, we didn't end on bad terms. And your we, ex being Nelly, right? <laughs> my ex, my ex being Nelly, yes. Because y'all were together new. for like, what? How many, how many years, Chantel? Seven years. We were together That's for seven years. a long time. Years. And That's we didn't even time. know that y'all had broke up. I'm just being, because you know I'd be like looking. And we didn't know. What, what happened? Do you care to share? And him being on the road, me being on the road less with him, we started to grow apart and it just became an issue with, you know what, what are we doing? What are we going to do? And oh, so it's a break, essentially. Um, yeah, you can. Girl, oh, how y'all doing? What's going on? Welcome to the Messy Sweet Spot. I'm your girl, Miss Gigi XOXO. You are here at the Messy Sweet Spot. And honey, when I tell you. We got a lot of mess to uncover with Mr. Nelly and Ashanti, honey, and Miss Jackson. Yes, girl, Miss Jackson. Girl, give it up. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Girl, if you don't give it up and sit this one out, honey, I am so tired of Miss Jackson. Keep on giving us this lame ass excuse why her and Nelly broke up. Girl, read the room. Nobody cares about you. People say, well, her fans just keep on asking and asking and asking. Well, she don't have to keep on answering and answering and answering. She went on the reel talking about this. I mean, she constantly talking about this. Don't you see, Nelly, he's married and about to have a baby on the way. Can you just please not go find you a man or find you a woman, better yet, whatever floats your boat and just get some business of your own. But you constantly coming up here doing this shit. And let's not forget, honey, she was trying it with our black queen, uh, Ashanti, honey, okay? Our black queen, Ashanti, she was trying it with. She kept on coming back and forth doing slick responses to Ashanti all that shit. She say that uh, she broke up with Nelly. Hell, well, if you broke up with him, just stop talking about it. Find you another one. And I guess she probably broke up with him trying to punish him like you need to get your act together. Uh, you know, she wanted to get chased. Girl, she ain't the goddamn prize. What does she do? How much money does she come up with? Okay, I mean, you cute. She all right. She not that cute to me, honestly, honey. Okay, Ashanti is way more prettier than her. Ashanti has a way more uh, a feminine, prettier, softer jawline and just face than her. You know, Miss Jackson, she's not the softest girl in the face. She's not the prettiest girl, and she's definitely not the most feminine girl. <laughs> But, you know, every guy's different. Some guys like masculine-looking girls. You know what I'm saying? It turned them on. It reminded them of their mama. You just never know, honey, okay? So, honey, I say that to say that what's so special about Miss Jackson, you can find a lot of girls that look like her. Um, and what is she what's she bringing to the table? She ain't bringing no money to the table, God damn it. Okay, and I'm sure Ashanti brings a whole bunch more to the table. So I am definitely team Ashanti on this. 
And go ahead, Nelly. Do what you got to do. Uh, she broke up with you. She wanted a break. She said Nelly was traveling, and she wasn't traveling with him, so she felt kind of distant. Bitch, please. Couldn't be me, honey. If I was in her shoes and my man was traveling with all that money, honey, go ahead and travel, boo. Okay? Shit. I'm, honey, I'm, I'm racking up some of that money. I'm going to do my business. Yeah, I'm going to create businesses and shit. I'm going to get to a, a point where I'm making as much money as he making. Then I'm going to divorce his ass, or I might just keep him around and I'll find a little cuddle buddy, you know what I mean? A little friend on the side, okay? Honey, that would be a thrill, all right? And then when I get caught, then I break up with his ass and I have my money already stacked and it won't be that hurtful. Shit, you know what I mean? You got to learn how to do it. I mean, look at her. She is over here on the internet complaining, yapping her mouth. She don't got no man. She don't got no business. It's just sad and pathetic. She constantly is trolling Ashanti and Nelly because she's so damn miserable. I mean, of course, people are going to ask you shit to be messy, but you don't have to reply to it. You don't have to address it. Over and over and over and over and over again. Hell, people ask me a whole bunch of shit that I don't address. Okay. All right. Comment. Let us know what you guys think about this. It just looks pathetic, girl. Get you some dignity, honey. It looks desperate and pathetic. And I'm so over her ass. I'm so over her ass at this point. Love y'all. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, The Messy Sweet Spot. And I'll see you guys in another upload. Bye.